Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the newest Titanium Swordfish release from Zelos. It is actually Blue Meteorite dial with Timascus or Timascus, Timascus um, bezel insert, as you can see. It's got that very unique and dynamic color gradient, different patterns. Um, so these were limited to 150. And I got in on it just mostly to see because I haven't, I've had a few Zelos in my collection, but I've never experienced Meteor, Meteorite, or any of the exotic materials like the, um, you know, Timascus or anything like that. I haven't even had a titanium watch from them. I've actually never owned a titanium watch, so I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. And I didn't think I would love it, and so far I'm loving it. I mean, I know that happens with a new watch, usually you hype it up and either you love it or don't love it right when you grab it and this one i think i'm in love with i think it's going to be a little bit of a long termer the dial i'm going to try to get up close up for you you can see it's a like a dark navy blue meteorite dial very cool i think that's cool i think i'm at the point in my collection like collection journey where i want something functional and comfortable and third on my priority list would probably be, probably be like the cool factor. Not like, you know, a Rolex Submariner. Everybody thinks that those are cool. Everybody knows that when you see it on the wrist. But this, I feel like it'll stick out. Not that I wear watches for other people, but it's just, you know, when you come across another watch nerd, you they ask you, what the heck is that thing? Or where'd you get that? Or what brand is that? Or what's, what's that bezel made out of? Or, you know, not many people are straightforward as straightforward nowadays with like COVID and all that. So no one's running up to you asking to, like, you know, grab your wrist and look at your watch. But um, I think this one's a little bit of a conversation starter. And it's cool. It's very comfortable. So, like I said, titanium. This is a full-size swordfish, so it's um, 42 millimeters in diameter. It's got the 48 millimeter lug-to-lug, -lug, which is pretty much about my max for comfort. I know I have my... Maybe Marine Master, Marine Master 200, which is a 51 lug to lug. Doesn't look that much bigger with a 44 millimeter case. Doesn't look that much bigger. Wears great. But um, he's probably not going to stick around now that this arrived. I'm deciding to cut down. That's really dirty. Sorry. <laughs> I'll get him out of the frame. But um, yeah, so 48 lug to lug. 13 mil thick with a flat crystal. Flat sapphire crystal. The crystal sits just a tad above that little metal ring that's between the bezel and the crystal. I don't know if you could see if I turn it sideways, it just sits maybe a hair, not even a millimeter, a hair off of the bezel. Just a little bit higher. So it's I wouldn't say it's boxed or it's top hat or anything, but it's definitely a little bit raised off. But it looks great either way. Flat. My only uh, gripe with my Mako V3 was that I don't really like domed. I think it looks cool, but for me to wear every day, I don't really love domed crystals. I know people aren't going to disagree and all that, but what drew me to this one was meteorite and also the fact that it was blue. Blue is obviously being my favorite color. I had to try it. I had to see it for myself. I had to see this Timascus. I thought it would look too cartoony or whatever, but it's actually pretty subdued if you look at it. If you get a little bit, you know, about that far away, you wouldn't be able to tell that it's a it's a bunch of different colors. It's a, it's got like a dark purple. It's got a little bit of silver. It's got blue. It looks black sometimes. It's got some violet. It's very cool and dynamic. I love it. Um, so my only gripes with this watch are, I'm gonna say the negatives first. So it's not really a long long list. The only thing is, the bracelet. Feels a little bit jangly to me. I put this in my review in the Zelos Timekeepers group on Facebook. I usually do like a quick, you know, couple paragraph review of when I first get the watch in just so other people can, you know, read up on it first before anyone sees a, rev a video review or gets their hands on theirs or makes a decision. I just, I don't know, I just try to put my two cents out there. Not that everyone cares, but that's my one thing. I'm going to let you listen. Little bit jangly. I'm not sure if that's a titanium trait or if all the swordfish, even the steel ones, shake uh, rattle like that. 
I get that the links being smaller and articulating and all that make it comfortable because I do appreciate the comfort on this. Very comfortable. But um, the jangliness, as soon as I pulled it out of the uh, watch roll, that was the first thing I noticed was the jangliness. Um, so that's one, one mini gripe, I guess. Um, the other thing, this one's just completely, completely my opinion and my objective, uh, you know, dislike. It's the yellow second hand. I get that that's a swordfish trait. They're a little bit more out there, a little bit more tooly. Um, I would have liked to see a matching silver one with just the yellow tip, maybe the, a completely red tip, but silver matching, I think would have, uh, just for me, would have tied it in better. Or even a blue tip, I'm not, you know, like a, a bright blue tip. Just being picky here. I'm sure you guys will ignore me because a lot of people like the yellow. I don't hate it. It's just I'd prefer something a little more subdued because um, you already got the yellow text there, you know. Anyway, the third and final, besides the bracelet and the yellow, is the clasp. So I guess Elshan didn't reach out to his factory in time. Or maybe they just had a bunch of clasps left over, and I understand trying to keep costs down and all that. But they use the same clasp as, as the Mako, which I love. It's a good fold-over clasp, you know, milled out. Very nice, heavy construction. Love the, uh, it has the same as the Mako, the quick adjust here, if you can see that. Four levels of quick adjust, which gives you about, I'd say, a half inch, maybe a little less than a half inch of, like, a ratcheting extension as you, you know, swell up and thin out during the day. But this part of the clasp, the same as the Mako, has the very rough Z in the circle around it. It's very rough. I know you don't really feel that on your skin because it's on the outside, so you're never touching it. But if you run your finger across it a little bit slightly, you could see it kind of take some of your skin off. It's a good way to file your nails if you want to on the go. Um, and then here too, same as the, the Mako. My only gripe with the Mako bracelet too was this part. The edge here and the edge here are pretty sharp. So me having a one-year-old and I'm picking them up all the time and playing with my kids, that's the only thing. I know It's not a safety hazard, but I would say be a little bit more mindful when you're, you know, scooping kids up or anything like that. It's, it, it can definitely get snagged and, you know, it's definitely sharp. Um, so those two right there and there. Um, that's pretty much it for negatives. You know, pros list is just look at this, look at this thing. Awesome. Catches light well. I don't think there's AR on the uh, colored AR on the crystal. I know there's anti-reflective material, but I don't think it's colored because I don't, I can't, no matter what angle I turn it, I can't catch a blue. I can't catch a purple. I'm just seeing the blue meteorite. It's very, very clean. Now, Elshon told us that the blue is actually a little bit of, you know, matted and blue and uh, subdued compared to the other, any other blue meteorites he's done. Because the lacquer that they applied to it, or the PVD, wasn't, it didn't react well this time on this run. So that's why he released these at such a low price, because he wasn't completely sold on making them a full run, from what I understand. So he, you know, offloaded these guys. And for 499 bucks, I mean, the launch price, you can't get... Can't ask for much more when you're getting exotic materials in the bezel insert and in the dial and full titanium construction. I'm sure you guys know the titanium watches use titanium all around except for the clasp. It has, it has to be steel. It doesn't have to be, but save costs and a little bit of ease in the manufacturing process. Steel is easier to um, mold and maneuver into making it into a clasp. I guess titanium is a lot more work and cost, so which I don't mind. I'm going to get the weight real quick because I'm curious to see. It's definitely lighter than, you know, steel watches, any other steel watch I've owned. Um, so this is with six links removed. That's for me, for my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Let me try to get it directly on there. 137.5. I don't know if you guys can see that. 137.2. So 137 grams on the wrist, which feels like nothing. I'm going to compare it to this, my stainless steel Mako, which is a 40 millimeter watch, so it's overall smaller. 
doesn't look too much smaller. Just the crown always is, makes it a little sneakier. Crown being offset makes it a little sneaky. So this guy with, I think, five links removed, 40 millimeter bracelet, 165 on the dot. So 165, 137. It's a good amount of difference in the weight, um, I would say. So this one is pretty close to my Goldilocks size, I'd say, for me. I know I harped on the Mako being perfect and all that. It is nice. Wonderful. Great watch. Um, now that I have this blue, I'm probably going to offload this Mako. So if you're interested, hit me up. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Facebook group, I'm pretty sure. If you're in the Zealous Timekeepers group, I already posted it. My name is Jordan. Um, but yeah, this guy ain't going anywhere for a little bit. <clears throat> Just want to give you guys some close-ups of it. A little bit more. I let you hear the bezel already a little bit. It's nice and tight, aligns well, and NH35, I mean, I've had it for a day now, and from my watch app, I think it's running about plus five seconds in one day, worn, and I put it on the dresser at night, just like this, flat, face up, and overnight for a full 24 hours, it's at plus five, so we'll see from there how it goes. So it's running well, looks great, feels great. Wrist shot quick. And then I'll do a loom shot to close out. So that's it on my seven and a quarter. Looks great. Feels great. Um, it hugs the wrist very well. I don't know if you can see. It just kind of conforms really well with those tiny links. Um, oh, another quick surprise before I forget. This leather horween strap was horween leather strap was included in the in the kit and i'm pretty sure i saw a while back on the facebook group that elshon said there was no strap that was going to be included so when that i opened it and i saw this i was so surprised and you know thankful and glad um because usually my blue watches anything blue with the 22 millimeter lug width gets treated to this crown and buckle brown leather pretty nice leather but i've had this for about five years now but I think it looks good on everything that has a blue dial. I don't know if you could see that. It's probably going to get this treatment for a little bit. But this one's all frayed up. These, the uh, right where the lugs, where it fits in the lugs is frayed. So it doesn't fit flush anymore. But it's a nice buckle. But anyway, back to the Horween. I, th I think this one will look great too. With like that vintage style with just the minimal stitching. Um, it's got the quick release. Quick release. Right here. It smells great. It smells like a like if you walked into a leather store, it's that potent. The smell of it. It's very you could tell it's good quality stuff. Never owned Horween. It's very nice. Very good quality leather, you could tell. It's still got like that oil resiny feel on it. Very smooth and slick. Very soft. Looks like it's gonna break in very well. So that was a great bonus, which I wasn't expecting. Um one more thing I forgot was the quick release spring bars up here. So my first time experiencing that from Zellos or any brand actually. So easy to take off. You just click these two together, pull this off and brace it off. Done and done. Then if you want, you could throw it on leather. I'm not gonna do it now because it's probably gonna give me a little bit of a problem because I'm on camera, of course. Oh, there we go, we got one. Guess I'm doing it, guys. So easy does it. Done. Quick as that. I think it looks good. Let me lay it down and stop moving around for you. I think it looks cool. That'll be comfortable to wear. That's like a sweater and jeans weather kind of look, I think. With this guy popping out. I mean, it's definitely a looker. You could see the 
design on the dials. I've seen some, my one hesitation about getting a di meteorite dial was the, um, some of the designs you can't really, you know, pick what you're going to get. And some of the designs look too like plain for me. You know what I mean? So this one has a good amount of, it almost looks like denim blue. It's very, very nice. Got some cuts in there, some deep etching. I think it looks great. Overall, great piece. I'm glad with the pickup. Glad I got in on it. Only 150 made, like I said. I still got the plastic on the back. Um, let's see if right, see you could see right there. I've got number 90 out of 150. So, congrats to the other 149 of you that got in on these. Um, if I change my mind, I'll post in the Facebook group before I post anywhere else about getting rid of it and flipping it. But yeah, that's my initial thoughts after a day of ownership of this guy. Thank you for watching. Um, oh, let me do a loom shot quick. I'm going to put this guy in the windowsill for a couple minutes and uh, let it pick up some sunlight. And then I'll do a quick loom shot to close. So here we go with the loom shot. And it's hasn't been blasted or anything with a flashlight. It's just been sitting in the windowsill for about maybe two minutes on a pretty overcast day. So this is direct sunlight, well, direct daylight, but a pretty cloudy day. And I'm in my bathroom, actually. Going to shut the lights off so you can get a closer look at the, uh, the loom. As you can see, it's a combo like Zelos usually do. It's C3X1 and BGW9. I'm trying to stay focused for you. That second hand is very, very nicely done. Easy to tell the time, day or night, with those thick hands. Bezel insert is... I like the Swordfish bezel insert. It's done well without being too, too like overpoweringly bright. You know, all the attention is on the dial, I believe. Chapter ring is loomed. Looks very good. No sound, no uh, loomed crown, but that's okay. I think it looks great. Haven't experienced one of these uh, um, loom chapter rings, so this is pretty cool for me. So just closing thoughts, guys. Um, great watch, great looking watch, great value. Um, I think the idea behind it was incredible, you know, blue meteorite with Tamascus bezel insert just took a lot of creativity and, you know, forward thinking by Elshon and Zelos to, to put this guy out there for us. And I'm very thoroughly impressed. I'm going to be wearing this for the next, for a while until, you know. Probably until the next Zealous release, <laughs> not going to lie. But um, looking forward to what else they're putting out and uh, very, very happy. So thank you to Elshon. Thank you, Zelos. Thank you guys for watching, sticking around, and, you know, likes and comments, whatever, you know, feedback you guys give on the video. I know my quality isn't up there with a lot of YouTube review people yet, but I'm just doing this for fun, like I said. I'm doing this to give people a little bit of an insight and... A little bit of more of a casual side of things you know not looking for sponsorship and all that it's more to just give a little bit of a preview to people before they bring them in or you know compare and contrast with what other people think of the same watch and different watches so thank you for sticking around i, pre I really do appreciate it um obviously likes and subscriptions to the channel are great and uh it's good to see the same, you know, some familiar faces and new faces in the comments. So hit me up on Instagram too as well. My IG is the Relentless Time, and uh, you'll see a lot of pics on there of my collection. Um, but thank you, thanks guys. Hope you liked the video. Hope you uh, check out some of these Zelos watches when you get a chance, and I'll see you in the next one.